Hi, D23 members. I'm Glenn Keane, and I'm going to draw the beast. In my mind, as an animator, these characters exist almost like before you start drawing them. This is the way it's always been for me. And I remember with the beast, I had spent many, many months drawing so many different animals and different versions of the beast. And one day, my friend uh, Bruce Johnson, who was one of the animators on the Beast came in and said, so what's the Beast going to look like? I said, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to tell you then just this is exactly what happened that day. I said, well, I'm not sure, but I like this big buffalo shaped head. So I drew it just like that. It's, it's a very simple shape. I said, there's kind of a sadness to a buffalo head, which I really like. But the body of a bear. And so I drew this neck and you could see the shoulders coming out on either side. So it's a big, massive animal. But I like the crest of a gorilla like that and the gorilla brows for expression. So it's like that. He's kind of angry. Beast is typically angry. And then I would draw a little ridge here because there's so much fur and skin that, that comes down here. There's also a, this wild boar. I had a buffalo on my wall and I had a wild boar on my the other wall. And the wild boar knows the hair actually goes backwards on the muzzle of a boar. And then I gave it a nose shape. And then the boar tusks came up like this. But then there's a beard at the bottom of a buffalo head and we'll give him a beard here, because I soften that and make it more of a curve. But he's got to be soft, so let's give him the mane of a lion. And so we draw these lines that are showing the softness, except the lines kind of re echo the, the roundness of the beast's head. And on the other side, you see these lines going, but in the opposite way, like this. And there's a cape he's got and it buttons like right there and then I can draw the cape lines coming off the side. So there's the beast is beginning to look like the beast. The horns, I started, they're a combination of a whole bunch of different horns and I start with a curve and then I'd go into a reverse curve. So it goes like this then like that and the same on the other side. So beast has got these horns that are very similar on both sides. And then I was thinking, oh, but is Belle really gonna fall in love with this guy? Ah, well, maybe I, I'll soften him. I'll give him cow ears, make him a little friendlier. So we make these ears come off to the side. You realize, well, the beast is, there's a prince trapped inside. So these eyes, need to be the prince's eyes, so they're human eyes. And I draw a little reflection in the eyes, and then I can put a little bit of a cheek there. And as my friend Bruce was standing beside me, and, and I can draw a little bit of the fur on him there, I realized, I said, that's, that's the beast. There he is. And it was instantaneous so that I, I re you recognize and then one day it all comes together and it appears just as fast as it did in me doing that drawing. This is the beast. <laughs>